I'm on the move. I'm headed down to the river. It's a blustery day. The rain has been pouring down. The river is in full flood. I'm having a bit of a gamble. I'm going after the barbel. I'm going after the chub. Hello. Folks, bang average fishing. How are we all doing? I'm here on the River Ribble today. I'm doing a little bit of chub and barbel fishing. I'm hopeful. Well, I'm always hopeful, aren't I? But I have to admit, the conditions aren't that great. The river's still rising. There's a horrible colour in the water. So it might be a little bit difficult. But I've got a hell of a lot of bait. I'm going to stink the place out. And hopefully that might bring some fish in. And on the hook, we're going with a little bit of sweet corn and lunch with me. This is an absolutely class bait here on the Ribble. The barbel love it and the chub love it and the eels love it too. So we're going to get this on there and there's weights. We're going with a shot weight here. A lot of people don't usually do this, but I find it really effective. It holds bottom, but it means when the fish pick up the bait, there's a lot less resistance. And as such, you'd normally nail a lot more fish. Anyway, I'm excited to get in the water. Less chit chat, more fish fish. First bait, we got a bit of hemp. I'm not fishing far out here at all. No need to when the river's like this. The fish are going to be close in. Just keep the baits going in. Hemp to start with. Bit of sweet corn. Did forget my catapult and my chair. Never ideal for a ledgering trip. A bit of lunch with me, I think. And it's just so easy to do this type of fishing and to have some fun. I say this now, and this is when we don't catch anything. Baited up this swim. Can't do any more. There really is something hypnotizing about just watching a rod tip on a rod rest, waiting for it to absolutely keel over. Side note, cheeky little core and rod rest. Fun fact, never bought a rod rest, only ever found them on the river. And saying that, I feel like it's a recycling scheme. The amount I've left on the river is out of this world. We've got a fish on. It was a weird bite. Oh no, you're kidding me, Jeff, it's an eel. It's everything we didn't want and more. <laughs> Don't think he's deep, he's too, he's hooked too deeply though. Which is good, which is good news. Had a few of these this season. So we, he sort of bounces himself off. Oh, here we go. Can we get him in the net? It's good to see that they're here. Get in. Hey, oh God, no. He's not having it. Uh, there we go. Beautiful, he's in. Nice. You've got to be very careful and delicate with eels. The great thing is here as well, you can see around me, I do have my unhooking map, but a bit of water there with a bit of grass. It's probably better off for the eels, to be honest with you. So, Folks, the first fish of the trip, the customary eel. Hmm. Interesting fish, but not what we're hoping for. But right, let's get him back anyways. Class! I managed to unhook him just about as well. Thank God. Anyway, let's him, let him be free. <laughs> not the most romantic release. But bingo. First fish of the trip, an eel. Very nice. Um, sorry I didn't really give you too much there, to be fair. I, I'm, I'm not great with them. And they're important, they're endangered, so I just wanted to get them back, really, to be honest. Very important, so. But let's see if we can catch something more. If there's an eel biting, why wouldn't there be a chub or a barbel having a nibble? Such a strange take, the eel. It's not pleasant. <laughs> the rod tip just goes tap, tap. Tip, tap. Not doesn't woof round or anything like that. It's sort of it's a bit weird. Like you could sit there for a while and just think it was the current, like I did. Just switched up to a free running ledger rig. To Fifteen pound mainline down to ten pound leader. Lunch and meat as always. Size six hook. Right, let's get fishing.
have to admit I do love this old school Shimano reel. It's an absolute belter. Lined with 15 pound line today, just in case we hook something a little bit mammoth. I'll be honest with you, I had a bit of an absolute mare. I, flip it, I put my rod on the rod rest, didn't have my bail arm done. And then the rod just ploughed over. It was all very strange and it's a barbel. Oh, bloody scenes. <laughs> that wasn't expected. <laughs> well, it was expected, but in the circumstances, it was all a bit tragic. <laughs> oh, glass. Class, class, class. It's not a big one, but go on, we can get him in. I need to extend that net and he's in. Yes, it's only a babba, but he's in. Seems. Well, the fish is just resting in the net. Had an absolute mare there, whizzed the rod on the rod rest, didn't realise I hadn't set my bail arm. Next thing I know, the rod is bending over. I've got line all over the gaff, but the fish is still on the hook. I've got him here now. Oh, buzzing with this. It's a beautiful barbel. Nothing big, but oh. Every one of these fish is special. And here we go. Beautiful, lovely little barbel in the flood water as well and a little bit of luncheon meat. It's a cracking fish. Let's get him back though. The barbel is such a special, special fish. Look at that. It's not the big one, but still a beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Oh, I can't get enough of these fish. Just let him recover there. He's kicking off there and he's off. Oh, nice. Well, folks, I think we're going to call it there. The fishing really switched off after that barbel. It's such a shame because I really thought the river was dropping, the fish might come on the bite. But I've got to make a move. I haven't got a flashlight, so I can't stay here into the dark. And I promise you, if I did, I think we would have had a few barbel. Anywho, we've had one. We've had an eel. It's been cracking fun. Easy fishing, as always. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Tight lines, folks. Keep bloody fishing.